OK, so it's November 2022 and Mozilla have done an update on Thunderbird, which has changed the layout. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this and I can see you don't. I can see it in your eyes. So how do you get back to the previous version? Well, this video is going to show you how you can downgrade Thunderbird Supernova back to version 102, whilst hopefully retaining your emails and your address book, etc, etc, etc. And we're also going to tell you once you have downgraded how you can stop Thunderbird from being automatically upgraded again to this version. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. OK, so Mozilla updated Thunderbird to the new version 115 Supernova recently, which has caused many problems for many people. So this video is going to show you how you can downgrade Thunderbird back to version 102 and also in the process, stop it from automatically upgrading again too. So I should point out at this stage that obviously by downgrading, it does open your system up to potential problems later on because Obviously, Thunderbird are no longer updating the older versions of Thunderbird. They're only updating the latest version, so you won't get any extra security updates. I mean, hopefully, in terms of security, your antivirus will protect you there. But if there are any problems later on, say, for instance, Microsoft writes an update for Windows, which wipes out or causes problems with Thunderbird, then your older version isn't going to be upgraded to obviously work around those problems, unfortunately. Hopefully this will never happen, but I should point that out to begin with. Also, it's a good idea to obviously back up your emails at this point, just in case it goes all horrendously wrong. Now, whilst I've tried this myself on several systems and it's worked perfectly fine, there is always a chance that something could go wrong. So as I always say, make sure you've got a backup. Now, if you want to back up your Thunderbird emails before you tackle this, then what you need to do is you need to back up the profile folder. So to do that, go into help, go into troubleshooting information, and then scroll down and you should see their profile folder. So go open folder. And what you want to do is you want to back up all of these files in here and folders to a USB stick or an external hard drive, something that's capable of taking all your data. So uh, it's a good idea to do that, first of all. And if you're totally unsure about what you're doing as well, then it might be a good idea to back up the whole system, although we're not making any changes outside of Thunderbird. So at the very least, I think if or the very most, if everything goes wrong, then it's likely to just be Thunderbird that's affected. OK, so let's carry on. So first of all, what you need to do is we need to come out of Thunderbird and we need to go into a website. So let's open our browser. Let's open Microsoft Edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my website. So I'm going to go to cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. So that's C for Charlie, W for whiskey, T for tango, E for echo, K for kilo.co.uk forward slash W for whiskey, D for delta. Then if you've got the correct page, you should see this here, Windows download. So let's just scroll down. And what we're looking for here is in email. And there we go. We've got older version of Thunderbird pre supernova. So let's move our mouse over Thunderbird V102.15, left click once, and then it should start to download. Now, at this current time, we're not going to install it. So don't hold fire. Once it's downloaded, just leave it be. So uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Mine's saying it's got about four seconds left. So once it's finished downloading, it might pause for a bit because it might do a quick virus check. There you go. Once you see open file, then OK, we're OK to close down Edge. So let's just go back into Thunderbird. Right. So once Thunderbird is loaded, we need to go into help and then we need to go into troubleshooting information and then scroll down. And what we're looking for is we're looking for the profile folder. So once you get to profile folder there, move your mouse over open folder, left click once. 
OK, so it should open all these folders and files. So what we need to do is we need to scroll down now and we need to find a file that says compatibility. Now, it might say compatibility. It might say compatibility.ini. Find it, move your mouse over it, right click on it. And then if you're running Windows 11, click on the bin. If you're running Windows 10, then click on delete. OK, so we need to close this down now. So let's just click on the cross in the top right hand corner and we can close this troubleshooting information. So just click on the cross just to the right of troubleshooting information. Now we can close this down, Thunderbird down. So click on the cross in the top right hand corner. Click on a, any yellow folder and then we need to go to downloads. So click on downloads. And then we're looking there for Thunderbird Setup 102.15.1. And again, it may have XE after it, it may not. Double left click on that and you can see Extracting will appear. When it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click Yes and then click Next then click next again and then click upgrade. Even though we're downgrading, don't worry. Once it's finished, now we don't want to launch it. So this is very important. So take the tick out of launch Mozilla Thunderbird now. Remove that tick and then click finish. Now we can close down, uh, close down the download window. So click on the cross up there. Now we need to move our mouse over the Thunderbird icon that's on our desktop. Click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And then you should get a menu like this appear. Go down to properties, left click once. And then what we want to do is we want to press the arrow key on the keyboard that's pointing towards the right once. OK, and you should see your cursor flashing just to the right of the speech marks after Thunderbird.exe. Press the space bar once and then you need to type minus minus allow minus down grade. So that's space after the speech marks minus minus allow minus downgrade. All in lowercase, absolutely no spaces. Then click on apply at the bottom there. And if this says you need to provide administrator permissions, click continue and then click OK. Now, once we've done that, we can now open Thunderbird. So let's just do that. And it might take a little while to open the first time. But if I click on Inbox now, there we go. We're back to the old layout. Now, what we want to do is we want to now prevent Thunderbird from upgrading in the future. So how do we do that? So first things first, what we need to do is we need to find out where Thunderbird is installed. The actual application is installed on our computer. So click on help and then click on more troubleshooting information and then scroll down and look for application binary. OK, so we should see in there that is where Thunderbird is stored. So what we can do is we can move our mouse just before the front of the C there, hold down the left mouse button and just highlight up to Thunderbird. And once we get to the D in Thunderbird, let go of the left mouse button and then on the keyboard, hold down the CTRL key or the control key. This is the key in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard and tap the letter C, C for copy, tap it and then let go of the control key. Then hold down the Windows key. That's the key denoted by the Windows flag, usually between the CTRL or FN key and the ALT key on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard. And then tap the letter R, R for run. And when this box comes up, let go of the Windows key. Then we need to hold down the CTRL key or the control key again, and then tap the letter V, V for Victor. And then you should see in there, it should say open C colon program files and sometimes it might have a x86 after it but don't worry if yours has got that it's fine forward slash mozilla thunderbird so if you've got something like that in there or, or exactly what you've just highlighted in application binary above there then that's absolutely fine so press enter or return on your keyboard 
and that should open us up into the place where we need to be. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to create a new folder. So move your mouse to any sort of blank spot on this window here. Click the right mouse button, then go down to new and then go across to folder. Now it will say here um, destination folder access denied. You need to confirm this operation. So click on continue there and then you should see at the bottom of the screen highlighted in blue new folder. Now what we need to do is we need to type on our keyboard the word distribution. So D-I-S-T-R-B-U-T-I-O-N all in lowercase. OK, so distribution, just as I've written there. Pause this video if you need to copy this down, then press enter or return on your keyboard. Now you need to double left click on the folder distribution that you've just created. And then we need to create another file. So then what we need to do is we need to click on the start button and then type notepad. And as we're typing it, it should appear under best match. So left click notepad. And then we need to type these commands. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these commands in the description of this video down below so you can copy it and then paste it if that's easier for you. Now, once you've typed that in or copied and pasted it, go up to file, go to save as and change the save as type to all files. And then what we want to do is we want to just delete out whatever's in file name and then type policies.json. OK, and then on the left hand side, we are going to just pop that in desktop. So there you go. We click click once on desktop and then click save. And then we can close this down. So let's just click on the cross in the top right hand corner there. And now what we want to do is we just want to click on desktop on the left hand side there. So scroll up and down if you can't see it until you can see it. And there you go. There's policies. So right click on policies.josn or just policies. If you're running Windows 11, click on the scissors. If you're running Windows 10, then click cut and then click on the back button just up there just once and then move your mouse over a blank part of the screen here. Click on the right mouse button. If you're running Windows 11, click on that clipboard and bit of paper. If you're running Windows 10, then click on paste. And then it say here, you'll need to provide administrator permissions to move this folder. So click continue. That's now in there. Let's just close this down. Let's just close troubleshooting information down by clicking on the cross just to the right of troubleshooting information and then click on the cross just up there in the top right hand corner to close Thunderbird down. Let's open it up again. So let's just check and see whether or not we can get this to update. So if I click on help and then about Thunderbird, this is where it normally updates. But as you can see here, underneath the version number, it says updates disabled by your system administrator. So that guide showed you how to downgrade Thunderbird from the new Supernova back to version 102 and stop it from re-updating itself. Hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below where we've got loads of links for you. If you want to have a look at my Amazon Amazon store that would be great. If you're looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories or even a VPN then have a look and consider using the links down below because hitting that thanks button or using those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.